Japan's seafood industry says it's blighted by contaminated catches. Nearly three years after the Fukushima nuclear disaster polluted surrounding land and waterways, they can't convince customers their fish is safe, even though the authorities insist they're doing their level best to show they've got a grip on the problem. Alex Yershevsky reports. Work doesn't stop in the port of Soma. Despite being just a few kilometers from areas still ravaged by the 2011 tsunami and still contaminated by radiation. Seafood of all shapes and sizes lands here several times a day. Not only fish has traditionally been the integral part of the Japanese food culture, but also one of its prized exports. Last year alone, the exporting companies pocketed more than 2 billion US dollars. However, there are serious concerns now. This particular catch was made in the waters of the Fukushima nuclear power station. After it became known that hydraulic system at the Fukushima nuclear power plant was severely radiated, fears grew that the contamination could be spreading into the Pacific. There are a significant contamination in the bottom sediment, especially in the pond and the river system, that we can find a very, very high concentration of the radio system is accumulated. Fish factories around the Fukushima prefecture now have to take radiation measurements. But despite lab workers assuring us the fish was free of any harmful particles, we're taking samples from every catch we make. And if we ever find even slightest trace of radiation, we'll destroy the whole catch. So far, there has been none. This fish is safe. And even the nuclear plant operator TEPCO standing firm that the nearby waters are clear of radiation. The situation is pretty much under control. We've built fences not to let polluted groundwaters leak into the ocean. We were surprised to learn that most of the seafood we saw at the port of Soma will never make it to the shelves of fish markets or restaurant tables. Most of the fish caught within the 30-kilometer radius is thrown into the garbage because it is radiated and TEPCO is paying local fishermen for it. So they're happy and keep silent. Some of it, though, makes it to stores, but only locally. Seafood firms here are under threat, and there are five prefectures possibly affected by contamination in the sea, accounting for almost 40,000 tons of fish per year. But things may get even worse as the third anniversary of the Fukushima disaster approaches. South Korea has become the first country to ban Japanese fish and seafood imports. Alexey Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Japan.